We are Sunrise. Sunrise Christian Academy. We got size and strength, toughness, and tenacity. Ain't none of that soft stuff around here. This year, we only have one goal. One goal. To be the national chair. To be number one. One. The number one team in the country. The best in the land. We are number one. That's all I know. This is going to be an unforgettable season. It's all out war for number one in the country. Everyone wants that throne. But this seat is taken. That trophy is ours. Raise your level of drive. Raise your level of fight. This is probably the biggest stage I've ever been on. <laughs> Nobody can stop us. Jimmy, wake up. But us. There ain't no competitors here. None. This is Sunrise Christian Basketball. Oh! Super team. Super team. Super team. Let's go! Welcome into Good Day Kansas Rewind. I'm here with Luke Barnwell. He is the head coach for the Sunrise Christian Academy basketball team. I know you guys have a loaded roster. Can you kind of run through some players and where they might be playing next year? Yeah, absolutely. We have so many weapons that some nights you don't know who to guard. A good problem to have. Yeah, we returned three guys off our team last year that played quite a bit, starting with Zach Clemens. Zachary Clemens. Kansas commit from Texas. Yeah, big Texas right here, yeah. Big C. I grew up an hour away from San Antonio on a ranch, so I'm actually a little country boy. The horses, all that. You can run to the rim, you can dunk, you can play down low, but you can also shoot. And when you're talking with Coach, how does he like to use you in different ways? Because you do have that skill set to spread the floor and also be down low. If someone cuts off one thing, you need to go to another. He put me anywhere and I'm ready to do anything. It's a, like a handyman, you know? No, 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 right here, that's the superstar. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is Kendall Brown, who was top 20 in the country. He signed and committed to play at Baylor. I saw you throw down some crazy dunks. I saw on your highlight tape you've dunked over Zach. I've never played with anyone more athletic than him. <laughs> yeah, they call me the pogo stick for a reason. He's what, 6'8", and just athletic, straight athleticism. <laughs> And why did you make the decision to come to Sunrise Christian Academy and play basketball here? Well, ultimately to get better because I knew where I was at. It wasn't the highest level and I just want to play at the highest high school basketball level. And then we hit some home runs and added a local talent, Grady Dick, who's from Wichita and has just about anybody in college basketball recruiting him. Mr. Grady Dick. Yeah. What time is it today, my boy? It's not even on. <laughs> he's always doing funny stuff, always playing around, but he's also that guy on the court. He's an animal. What is it like to be playing for Sunrise Christian Academy, which is obviously located in Wichita, and being from Wichita? It's super special. The fact that the school like this is just kind of in my backyard, in the end, it was kind of a no-brainer. And then we added the number one point guard in the country, Kennedy Chandler. When I say number one recruit at the point guard position in the country, what you know, what runs through your mind? Uh, you know, that's just me working hard, and just, I'm just blessed to thank the man above. Kennedy, he's the best point guard I've ever played with. What are some of the teams that are on the horizon? La Lamere, Oak Hill, IMG, Montverde. We got to play those guys two or three times, and it's just super intense and super competitive, and they're just as talented as we are. And what are the team expectations for this year? I'll go with one Geico. I chose Sunrise, you know, so I can put them on the map. I'm trying to let people know that we're the number one team in the nation. Every season has challenges. Obviously, this year now there's COVID. COVID changed everything. We had three guys playing video games with a kid that tested positive that wasn't on our team. At that time, no one had symptoms, and we had all just been close to each other, sitting next to each other, playing the games, having fun. We found out everybody had COVID like a couple weeks later, and everybody was like, yo, what? I remember calling the lady about the test results, and she's like, well, it's probably going to be more easy for us to say who isn't positive than who is. COVID obviously was not in the script, especially everybody at one time. We had built ourselves up, we went through our eight week conditioning and this hits right before we're getting ready to just tip off the season. We basically had to start over. Let's step on the scale before we start. Could be worse. <laughs> Damn. all off ways. Everybody. KB down, Kenny down seven. We haven't been in the weight room in a while. We're getting used to it. That's what we got today on the board. Grind on stop. Ugh. The strangest part, I'd say, you know, being out of shape, honestly, because when I came back, I'm breathing super heavy. I've never felt like this before. Ugh. Did I miss the weight room? Um, <laughs> I can get back to you on that one. 
I know COVID set a lot of people back, especially us as a team. Number two, preseason team in the country, expectations at an all-time high, and then from there it was, oh, are we going to play? From that to, okay, if we do play, are we going to be any good? We were shut down for 26 days uh, with COVID running rampant around here and some of us getting it. So this is our first chance to play against somebody other than ourselves in practice. Weird circumstances the last few weeks, weird eight to 10 months. Some of y'all, this is the first time you played since state tournaments or there wasn't a whole lot of AAU going on, right? The game has kind of been taken from you for a while. So enjoy today. I mean, it's a chance to put a Sunrise jersey on, be with your brothers and compete against somebody. If you take it for granted, that's kind of on you. It's our first impression. Like, hopefully we walk out of here tonight like, man, we got a squad. We're gonna play the right way. We're gonna play hard. We're gonna play together. We're gonna do the right things. We don't wanna leave no sour taste in our mouth. Let's make the most of it. Right? Let's go. We haven't played in nine months. We gotta take the rest off. Turn and face, turn and face, turn and face. Q and Jalen switch, Q and Jalen switch. Coach Luke is very hard on you. He's gonna hold you accountable for everything. He's not gonna let you slide just cause you're this or this. It's more of an exhibition game, but you know, it's a good time for us to get a little run there. J-Mac, he's an undersized big boy. He catches the love anywhere you throw it. I'm like a spark plug. Come off the bench and make a couple great plays. Couple things. It's gonna be the best team in the country. So we're winning by a boatload. I'm gonna watch each possession. Grady Dick is a knockdown shooter. All day, Grady Dick. Good. Kenny Poto. He's really, really good. I think he's really underrated. He's 6'11". He can shoot, he has post moves, and he's a great passer. Oh, there we go. Kenny, you better make this. Put some heat on him. Woo! <laughs> Kenny's just trying to get a double-double. Who are we kidding? When someone takes the charge, everybody gets up. I don't care if it scores 100 to 0. Everybody get up. The best play in basketball is Willie taking the charge. It's just good, you know, get a little exhibition game in before it gets real next week. Our team is really like underrated as like one of the most talented teams. We've got a lot of versatility like at every position. We can move a lot of guys around. We got length, we got size. Last year we was like the underdogs and no one really expected us to be as good as we were. We was gonna go to Geico as a three seed. That got cut short. I thought I was gonna go the whole COVID season undefeated. But I got it and I was like, dang. COVID is literally the worst thing ever. No job. Sunrise is a lot. It's a lot of things. It's family. We got Sunrise. We got Bella Cancel. We got Steven. It's a small school in the middle of nowhere. So you can ask people from Wichita and they don't even know where this place is. And it's like 10 minutes. I mean, what's good? Yeah. Them boys are having a little bit too much fun with them girlfriends. Squad. You live with G Day? Hello. Coach. Oh my God. 
think we're like the little guy in town being in Kansas, but have achieved exponentially with grit and toughness. And then when we add talent to it, that's when it blows up. Today, we're here with Kenny Photo. Uh, scored 21 points against uh, On Point Academy. How do you feel? Kenny, he's been at Sunrise for quite a bit, and he kind of gets grumpy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're going to have to practice right now. Day one, for two big time games this weekend. Sunrise Academy is strict, but it pushes you every single day to be the best version of yourself. We got a big win Saturday, but it was more of just a trial run. Big weekend ahead. We play in Rock Hill, South Carolina at the Battle of the Rock. Friday night, we have uh, Lake Norman Christian against Mikey Williams' team. he's probably going to put up some numbers because he's talented, but we're trying to make his night difficult. The emphasis for the week, one possession at a time. We're building right now for what we're going to do Friday at 8.30. Yes, sir. Hey, three-man weave, let's go. Three -man weave. Good group right there, really good group, really good group. The weekend that we're getting ready to go into is why you come to a place like Sunrise. We circle big events like this to play the best players and play the best team, so there should be a little juice and excitement. Guard without Fallon, we're going to be so good defensively that we're not even going to let the whistle matter. We're going to guard without our hands, we're going to move our feet. They can't even screw you because you're not going to give them a chance to, okay? All right? Hands back, hands back, hands back, hands back. Keep it in front. Ah. Finish the play, finish the play, finish it out, finish it out. Oh yeah, you got to keep away from the rim. You got to keep away from the rim. Good, Will, good. Come on, see, hands back. The thing that makes Coach Luke so special is that he's going to get on you like no matter who you are, no matter how many stars you got, your profile, anything. But the next day, he's going to be the same as he always is. Perfect. Good. 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 All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for the opportunity to have a big week. Uh, finally, we get to hit the road. Man, it's going to be great. We get, to, we get to do what we love to do. We thank you for this opportunity. In Christ's name we pray, man. Amen. Sunrise on three. Family on six. One, two, three. Sunrise. Four, five, six. Family Five, together. This weekend we're traveling from Wichita to South Carolina for the Battle at the Rock. We play against some big time teams and you know we're coming ready to compete because we know they're going to be coming for our neck. Game day after a long nine months of being in quarantine, not playing nobody. Feels good to be back here. We are six and a half from game time. We need to start locking in our mindset right now. Mikey's a great player. We all know what he can do. Mikey, 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 we have our plan to destroy. And we gotta be locked into that. And this is pretty sweet. It's a pretty cool atmosphere. And we got 570 people coming tonight. So there are gonna be some people here. Amen. This for y'all, first try. Uh oh. Half court ritual. Kennedy always showing up. Ready to jump on three. One, two, three. No! <laughs> game day! This is the first real game of the season. Mikey Williams and Lake Norman. We get to the arena and it's actually a big crowd. It's the first crowd that I've seen in nine months. I haven't seen LaMelo show up. The crowd is amazing. I love this energy. All right, defensively, Key is going to be one. The ball's in his hands, he's going to make plays. Everyone knows Mikey Williams is a great player. Two, once he starts to rock that ball, make him shoot over your hand because he's going to let it rip. We want both of them taking fadeaways. We want everything to be challenging. Send them a message early. This paint really isn't that fun. I think our game plan is going to force Mikey to have problems. Offensively, if we can get the first miss, we can have a lot of fun. You should walk out of the locker room with a big S on your chest like Superman, knowing that we have put in the work. 
I'm so excited to play in front of a crowd. I'm not asking you to do anything that you don't normally do. I'm just asking you to be the best version of yourself. Trust our work, our effort, trust all the things that we've had to go through. I will put what we do against anybody in the country. No one's done what we've done. We do tough every day. We don't fake it, we're real. Lake Norman, they decided to come out the gate, coming heavy at us. Gee, he's going right. You know he's going right. First play, first play. And of course, Zach picks up two fouls right away. First minute of the game. I'm on my way to the bench. I'm going to be on Mikey most of the night. Hello! My goal is just to try to contain him and don't let him affect the game. Yeah, D! Good, good shot, boy. Let's go! Great is doing a little bit of everything. Steals, rebound, scoring. He's hustling out there. Yeah, get him up! People are gonna know the name of Grady Dick. Grady, he's driving right every time. Mikey Smart, he was getting to the line and drawing contact. Take Mikey, you take two. Yeah, Willie and Jay get wide. Grady, run off the double like you want the ball. KB, we're getting you a dunk. All right, let's go. Let's go. He's a walking pogo stick. Good possession down there. Hey. Dunk his head off. Quit finger rolling. Dunk his head off. Boy. Willie does a little bit of everything on defense. He's a pest. Yeah! Take charges. Oh! Yeah! He's defending Mikey really well. Will's energy is creating for us. I need four dudes like Will. All right, let's go. Good. Rebound that. Number two is knocking down some tough shots, but you know, you just gotta live with that. Good, good, rebound it. We're defending, and look how easy it is, you know? We're defending and it's easy. Listen up, offensively, we scored 49 points and missed two layups and a dunk. Here's where we've gotta be better. Defensively, we are orange cones on the catch. There's an orange cone and a drill, and coach says to drive around it. We're not ready to guard the freaking ball. Screw all the rotations, guard the ball. You could roll this game open and show the world like, oh my God, Sunrise is good. Or you could come out a little lackadaisical and take your foot off the gas and then you can be in a dog fight. You guys make the choice. Let's go, let's go. It's gonna be hard to stop Mikey for the entire game, but we're gonna slow him down. Being as tall as he is, the inside and outside game, that's rare to find. Good, Zach! Travel! Yes. Zach's an underrated defender. He can put the clubs down on you for sure. Of 
to oversell so let's take a turn, so I just took it like a man and I got it. We definitely took our foot off the gas. Mikey does what any good teammate would do when his shot's not falling. He gets his teammates involved. Ladies, shoot a high school three. Shot a freaking 40-footer. My shot stops falling in the second half, and that creates an opening. Mikey sees an opening, he's gonna make you pay. We need to shut the door. We need to stop this. There's lots of guys as long as KB. There's guys that is as skilled as KB. That's a pro. There's guys as athletic as KB. No one has all three, I promise you. That's a grown man game, I'm here. We gotta get Grady out. We gotta get Grady out. What are they trying to get you to do? Play really fast and, and we missed like five layups. Now it's a 16 point game when it should be 30. Would you agree? All right, we're gonna get a layup. Coach is really good at drawing up plays during the timeout. Willie, you take the ball out of bounds. Kennedy, fake up like you want the ball. Let's get the ball to Kenny Poto from Willie. Back door, if they help up, you got a lot, right? Here we go, here we go, sideline. Head talk. I talked my talk. Got me a little tech in. Yeah, you know, that Memphis got out of me. We won and everything, it's cool to have a win, of course. We're all fired up about the dunk, but entering the locker room. I'll say this. You can tell Coach Luke's not happy. I don't care about numbers on the scoreboard. Those don't matter. I walk in here and I've broken clipboards one by 30 and I walk in here and said, hey, y'all are good. You lost the game, but you played the way you're supposed to play. But I want you to think about this question. Did you compete? Grady, did you really compete defensively? Like, no offense to Mikey Williams or whatever, we're not here, we didn't assemble this team to beat a sophomore, right? It's a sophomore, you should beat him by 20. We assembled this team to be number one. You won't be number one unless you compete. It goes from like 20 to like 11, why? Here's why, me, I need mine, I need me, let's rush and let's get me, let's get mine. There's no room for any of that here, it's we. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir. The team you play tomorrow isn't just gonna wilt. They're gonna compete extremely hard. And they're gonna step on the court with a big chip on their shoulder with a shot to beat number two. Number two in the country. And they're gonna want every last ounce of it. Was there spurts? Yeah, spurts are some really good stuff. But spurts are some really good stuff and spurts are some really bad stuff isn't gonna get you where you wanna be. Coach Luke has high expectations for us and that game just didn't cut it. So today we at Sunset Park, a little shoot around just before tonight's big game. This is cool, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> kind of a cool little area. They had a local artist repaint the court, uh, put a mural on here, and then paint the backboard. For us to be out here and support that is cool. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's good to get back to the community and all that. They just wanted us to come kind of show out a little bit, show them some love. What the? 
very nice to be outside and not have to be negative 40. In Kansas, it get like that. Hey, when you reach that point, listen. Hey, what's up? It's important for us to do this stuff together. If you want to have that chemistry on the court, you got to bond off the court. Y'all, y'all got that? No, no one got that. What's that? Hey. Battle at the Rock, Game Two, Legacy Early College. This is a top 15 team in the country, so understand we got to go to battle here. We got the dub last night. We got to stay undefeated here. Three and five are the keys that we have to lock in on. They got Bryce McGowan, top 25 dude, Nebraska commit. Very athletic, can shoot the ball, can handle the rock. The biggest key is just being physical and being tough. <laughs> Last night, I knew we were gonna be tougher than them. Tonight, I don't know that. Getting these 50 50 balls, that's gonna be a difference maker this game. You guys are gonna have to show that. They're gonna play with a chip on the shoulder with a chance to beat the number two team in the country. We have to match that and be better than that. Go, let's go. We ready to play against them, ready to fight. Kennedy's first step is different. He beats everyone off the dribble. Grady got the full package. Sag, straight cash from the three. He goofy, but you don't mess with him. Dang it, Kenny! Bryce is tall, so it's harder to put a little guard on him. And he's also shifty, so it's hard to put a big on him. We need to wake up right now, we're playing sloppy. If he's gonna shoot freaking sidestep out threes over a hand, is that gonna beat you? They made a couple. Now what we can do is, you lose a 50-50 ball. What I freaking told you before the game, you're not urgent on a loose ball, they pick it up and get fouled. You lose a 50-50 ball, they hit a three. That's the stuff I'm not cool with. Compete, compete, compete. Hey. Hey, they really saw a team, we gotta be honest. There's a reason he's top 25. Quit falling asleep! It's not just Bryce, they got Jacoby right too. How are they hitting these? Credit to them, they're making tough shot after tough shot. Yo, we need a lock in right now. Get there! Yo, KB just jumped out the gym. They're scared, bro. That's why they go on the zone. They make a tough shot, but they ain't got. They can't win with just them two. All right, listen. If five and three don't have the ball, the other three, do they want it? They don't want the freaking ball. So if you're guarding one of those three and they have the ball, your pressure needs to be as high as it can be. Take pride in every possession by playing the way we need you to play every possession. All right, let's go. Let's go. The more the other team worries about my jump shot, the easier it is down the paint. I don't care about the officials. Get a freaking rebound. Playing so sloppy. We just left the best player on the floor for a layup in transition. At some point, y'all are giving me the middle finger. It's the same message as it was 24 hours ago. You get comfortable and you start freaking chilling. We get hurt when that first not there. there. Ain't no competitors here. None. We need to wake up. Good, Kenny. Willie, 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 Willie. Zach, ball to us, Kenny. Woo, lay it up. Yeah. 
I can't believe Kendi got tech, man. Just, just get freaking back. After that, Kaluk was very pissed because it was my second tech, two nights. All right here, bro. We've been through tough minutes. We've been through conditioning. All that. Gotta be right here. Three minutes. We gotta be best three minutes. Well, all right. Offensively, you have a lead, and we don't need to take one pass threes, no paint threes. We need to play inside out. Okay. It's now or never. We gotta win this game. We have missed seven layups. Nobody's gonna fix this other than your energy. That's the only thing that's gonna. That's the only thing that's gonna fix this. We're on five with a minute to go. What do we want? Sides of the floor, so we don't throw it in unless it's a freaking layup. He threw it at the I mean, I can't shoot free throws and layups for you. I can't make those. I can't. I don't get paid to do that. How are they hitting these, man? You're under, under. Good, you're good. Oh, if you get in a bad trap, don't fling the ball. Call a timeout. We have about four, right? It's getting way too close for comfort. Keep the ball in front. Don't foul. Hey, don't foul. Even though we won both our games, Coach Luke was not happy. That obviously wasn't achieved at all. So let's get that off the board because that doesn't exist in this room at all. What's that? That's your free throws. That's missed layups. And you want to be cool and cute. That's what that does for you. And I'm not even talking about the defensive end. I'm talking about what you think wins. This is what y'all think. Y'all think getting baskets and layups and free throws, and y'all think this is what wins. This is what you think wins, G. This is what you think wins. But you have no energy. And so then you shoot that. And you look terrible. You want to do it that way? We might as well call overtime and tell them to find another team. There isn't a soul in this room that's good enough to play like that. You want to play that way? Not one of you will ever make it to where you want to go. Not one of you. Because at the end of the day, I'm embarrassed for you. If it's not a hard pivot, it's going to be a long freaking year. Coach Luke was not happy about the South Carolina trip. He thought we played selfish, so you know it's time to get back to work. Let's get rid of this stink. Let's make sure we get better. I don't like a quiet gym. I don't like a quiet court. Here's the problem. Your body language sucks because you're pouting because you're getting your butt beat. Yeah, so we're the number two ranked team in the country right now, and we know that with that comes a big target on our back. We're only going to be a national champion if we're able to handle things that don't go well. Your body language sucks, your body language sucks, you're pouting because you can't figure out how to play. Being number two is just a big compliment and everything, but that's not really our goal. Our goal is to be number one. The greatest of the great are present at all times. They're present at all times. Whatever's in front of them, they are focused on. They don't care about what happened last. They don't care what's going to happen next. It's easy to have a good attitude, and it's easy to have energy, and it's easy to be tough when things are going well. But when things don't go well and there's some adversity, where are you now? And you wonder why you can't make shots. It's because your body language sucks, your attitude sucks. That's why. Because you're not locked in. There's just little points in the games where we kind of find ourselves not trying as hard. Like we need to go for a rebound, those 50 50 balls. And those are the times that just kind of nipped us because it was like letting them back in the game when they shouldn't be. Go freaking get it, man. The ball is coming to the baseline. We all go get the ball. It's never comfortable, ever. We can't play the level that we're going to play at with only seven guys right now. We got to get eight, nine, ten caught up. Mine is Fred, and he wanna knows why he doesn't play. We gotta kind of address the bench to make sure that we can be nine, 10 deep so that we can be the best team that we can be. If it doesn't get there, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for us to play against the opponents that we're gonna play like Friday. Hey, you be on TikTok? Yeah. You seen the thing that's trending? Which one? The Thor's hammer? Oh yeah. Y'all seen that? Yeah, bro. You trying to do it? We're always working out, practicing, so it's fun to do some fun stuff every once in a while. Strongman trend. It sounds easy. Oh, you better twist that back. 
Yeah, that was easy, easy huh? Hold up. Show me Oh, man. Watch this first try. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Kendall comes in, lifts it like it's nothing. That's not how it's supposed to work. Mac turn. Why you want to look like this? KB, come on, bro. Don't disrespect me. You know, you know, you know I'm strong. This is light, bro. You know what to do? <laughs> bro, this is light. Stop playing with me. I got that grown man strength. <laughs> wow. And don't want to hear none of that trash talking in the comments, talking about, oh, he weak. Nah, that bar is something different. I started this challenge. I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Yo. All right, Coachy. Coachy! He keeps talking about how easy it is. Let's see if he can do it. Get over here. Get over here. Look at him. He's yes, scared. Bro. Camera shot. Bro, you swear you're strong, bro. bro. Come you on. are literally a buff baby. Come that's, on. That's like a little snack for me. <laughs> Man, Coachy needs to put his money where his mouth is. We got 17 year olds to do it. I think you can. Look how buff you, you are. You weak, bro. Uh, Don't put that on camera. <laughs> There's no way. He's bro. all air. What? <laughs> e, you don't got this. Oh, he got oh, 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 we need that defense intensity, and we gotta build our chemistry. If we could sum it up to anything, it's just being really competitive. They're a very disciplined team. They can really shoot it, they get open shots, and they knock them down. They flew all the way here because they wanted number two. Huh? Be careful what you ask for is what I would say. All right, let's go. When I'm racing up the floor, I'm always looking for KB. Kim LeBron is a freak. Yeah! You've guarded really, really well, but I'm not satisfied, and neither are you. We're satisfied when it's 0 0 0, okay? Defense up three. One, two, three. Defense. They're literally making every three. This is crazy. Come on, bro. It's a good basketball team. You made a run to start the game. They made a run back on you. It's okay. Get, 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 get. Let's go. Great, he's nasty with the hezzy. He's a savage. First quarter, phenomenal defense, and you built yourself a lead. The way we stay focused with a big lead is just locking in on D. Eight hit about three bombs. Let's think about how we got those bombs, primarily off of our bad offense. You kicked their tail in the first half, but you know we don't care about what the first half says. We just got to stay present. Okay. Hey, 60 more minutes. Let's go. Goes nuts when we get a charge. Even my boy Willie throwing me some lobs. Affect your job back. Freaking back. Coach Luke, he's not happy. Hey, by the way, he's made a bunch. So how about you be there on the kit? How about we come on? No, who we freaking guard? I'm tired of not matching up and not knowing who we got. They just throw up the floor, hit a three. Got him, Casey. When Kennedy went down, he went down hard. We were terrified. 
Kennedy's really banged up. I'm starting to get nervous. It's scary for all of us. You know, us living in the house, you know, just like college. Fruit rounds. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's like some woolly type of stuff to eat, I guess. I don't know. I, kept the crutch. I kind of had a relationship with Kennedy before the season because we were playing with Mocan. So we started to get to know each other before he came here. So I just grew off of that. He swears he doesn't snore, but I got videos. Dude, he's loud. <laughs> Dude, so it's so loud. Is this it? Oh my god. Damn, you ugly, boy. <laughs> this dude, cute, is so ugly. <laughs> I grew up in Cordova, Tennessee. It's right around Memphis, Tennessee. Wichita equals boring. Memphis equals more fun. I never really heard of anyone going on vacation to Memphis, Tennessee, so. Wow. You know, Myth is just a nice city to come visit, you know, visit Elvis Presley's house. Can't forget about Bill Street. Everybody loves Bill Street. Grizzly games, Memphis Tigers games. It's a sports city. I never thought I was gonna end up going to a prep school in my senior year, because in my old school, I've been there and grew up there my whole life. It was hard for me to move right here to Wichita. I didn't think I would be able to do it, especially moving here. But I love Sunrise. It's a school I will never forget. Yeah. Yeah, stay, stay, stay walking, stay walking. None of us knew how hurt he was. I hurt real bad. But you know, I, I know I had to come back and finish out strong. Good G. Right oh, get back! He's a warrior, that's all there is to it. Yeah, get back! My goal is to come out, compete, play hard, and get the win and bring the energy. He wasn't hurt, he just was tired. Jeez. Man, come on. <laughs> Since it was only our third game, we knew that we had to be sharp because like, we're looking forward to like the games in a couple of weeks and we got to be prepared for that. So this was a good challenge for us. One, two, three. All, All right. right. One, five, six. together. Everybody loves House 14. House 14 was like by the football field. And then my house, House 12, was right across the street from the school. We had a little rivalry going on between the two houses. I want to tell y'all that House 12 is better than 14, but I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, House 12, but it is what it is. Me and Kendall are probably the most chill, chill roommates. Willie's crazy. Yeah, shout out YMG. Zach's chill. <laughs> Grady's crazy. He's just a weirdo. There's like funny, and then there's weird funny. That's what Grady is, just yeah. weird funny. He's a weird guy. We got this little air horn, and I want to mess with the team a little bit. Wait, but Fred's down there. We decided to prank the other house, and we decided to prank Fred. You trying to prank him? We got quite a rivalry between the houses. Let's go get a, let's go get a call. I've been scheming on this for a while. Be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> Great, you got your bet. You good? And we all just started dying. They're so childish. <laughs> Doing these pranks kind of bonds us, though. <laughs> we rolling. We just got to keep it going. Every reaction is, is over the top with him, so we had to get an air horn, go around the corner and scare him a little bit. <laughs> I don't think you should do that again, bro. <laughs> Why? <are> you... <laughs> if you want to have that chemistry on the court, you got to bond off the court. We got the dub, time to keep moving. One, two, three, five. Come on, boy KB at. Underway to Mickey D's. Trap house. 
Got his Gotta go get Jalen his own one dollar three pair of cookies my that he cookie eats rush. once a day. Right. My cookie rush, my cookie rush, my cookie rush, my cookie rush. Let's go. Take a dollar meal because I'm broke. I make him drive since he's a young man. So we're just gonna go get some food. Oh, go. We're gonna play some music sometime whenever he connects that pair. Yeah, I forgot my order. I know you smell it. <laughs> I know you smell it. <laughs> oh. J Mag, he's an oddball. He's just, he's always in his own world. <laughs> hey, y'all having fun yet? <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're in Virginia, getting ready to start our first bubble. We were lucky to be one of the teams that actually got to play. A lot of teams didn't have a chance to get into these bubbles like we did, and I'm so thankful for that. We'll play seven games in 11 days. We're entering the bubble 5-0, so we'll be playing more games in a week than we played the first semester. It feels good to be back and finally playing against all these good teams. We play Montbird, who's number one. We play IMG, that's number two. And we'll play Arizona Compass, number four. We're number three. This is what we've been working for all year. I'm ready to hoop. We added Jay Nakins this semester. This is a rook right here, you know. <laughs> First time, you know. I'm, I'm the rook right now. It's okay. I learn fast. Man's a bucket, I swear. He's committed to Michigan State. He played with Imani Bates. He's top 70 player in the country. He's one of the best ISO players that I know. We wanted to grow our depth and make ourselves the best we could make it to win a national championship. My motivation to transfer was just getting ready for college. I feel like sunrise practices are college level practices and the games are college level too. We all have our own role, but we have one goal as a team, and that's to win the chip. He's gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of everything that he does. Sacrifice is a big thing, and it's my senior year, so I really just wanted to win. I knew that Sunrise had a really good team when they already had D1 players, so I wasn't trying to come in and mess anything up. I just wanted to help us win and get to another level. What he allows us to do is bring in a group off the bench that is just as good, if not better, than the top group. Our bench is nice now. We come from people's heads. So game one versus Hamilton Heights tonight, so hopefully we can get the little travel jet lag off of our feet this morning and get ourselves ready to roll. I'm excited to play today. Get off on the right foot with a win. Andy got bounced. He really take off for real. Andy's money from three. For sure. For sure. He a bucket. For sure. Boom! I need to help us win. Jaden look like a straight weapon right now. Maturity. Okay, because you're up 30. Let's stay mature, stay focused, stay present. The scoreboard's zero to zero. Let's be mature and let's get better. Play to our standard and play to what we expect and play to what we demand every day. All right, let's go. Let's go. J Max, a minus two down low. He's looking strong. I grew up in Lee Summit, Missouri. I was that guy in the city. I was the main topic. When you come here to Sunrise, you got guys better than you that are pros. So when you come here, you just gotta work. Jay Max is a really good player who fights hard and wants to compete every time he gets in the game. J Max always there to give us a bucket when we need it. Really athletic, I feel like he got a complete game. Sunrise was the best level for me to come to, to step my game up and improve. And I'm just blessed, honestly. So great. Came out with that energy. Guess we get a win. Get out here with the squad. It was a good experience. Ready for more of that. We took care of business. Now it's a full out war for number one in the country. Enjoy for a little bit. We'll go eat. Let's have some fun. But like, I'm going back to work. We're, we're coming here to be number one. Okay? All right, let's go. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. Two weeks in a hotel. We get bored. Kendall, bro. I'm tired of sleeping on this pullout couch. Too bad. I ain't got no covers, my feet hanging off. I can't sleep on the couch, I gotta sleep on the bed. But come on, bro, like, for real though, like. Come on. It be hurting my back at night, like, what's up? I might like, as well just bet for it then. How about, try not to laugh challenge. 
not so bad. You make him laugh, you get his bed. You just gotta make him laugh. You have to bring out everything, bro. Cause you're not gonna bet. J Mac is weird. He makes a lot of voice impressions and weird body movements. J Mac, you're too goofy, bro. You know you wanna spit it out. Of course, he makes me laugh. I gotta get redemption, bro. Nah, ain't no way. What's up, Sean? <laughs> Dang! This is the win, okay? This is to get your bed. Mac, you need some background music? Yeah. I know just the thing. My bed tonight. My bed tonight. I knew he was weird the first time I seen him last year. Let's go! We was walking home and dude peeks out the bushes like, Kendall? Ty? I'm like, all right, this dude, this dude's different. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Round two. Begin. <laughs> Man, like, come on, bro. <laughs> it hurt me. I didn't even know you were doing it. Ah. Yeah, that was probably the funniest part of the season. Montverde Academy is the number one team in the nation. Montverde Academy is one of the best programs for high school basketball. They've had multiple NBA players. They had Ben Simmons, D'Angelo Russell. That's a big game. It's a saving game. We've been wanting this matchup since last year. They got a lot of talented guys, some future NBA players. I got Caleb Houston going to Michigan. Shooter, shooter, shooter. KB, you're good enough to be able to make sure he doesn't shoot it, and then you can get back off the line and keep him in front. Thanks and love going to Baylor. Kennedy, you're gonna start on Langston, 13, shooter, score. Wall him up and contest, no threes, no threes, no threes, okay? Jalen Dern, number two player in the country. Keep him away from the basket, that's our job. We're physical with him for 32, okay? And it's and we're gonna say Kenny, and we're gonna say Jay, and we're gonna say Zach, yeah, but it's really every single person. We'll see what the hype's about. So I got we want to come out and prove a point that we can compete against them. The beauty of what we have in here, fellas, is this really any different than we've asked for you to do any other game, any other team, any other day, any other time, all year? No. We the underdog, I feel like, even though we got a good team, we just got to come out with energy and intensity and show them what's up. And that's done with our effort all the way turned up and our energy all the way turned up. I'm ready to play, get a win, and then we're going to be number one. I think the number one team is sitting in this room. I, I believe it. You guys have got to go prove it. All right, let's go. That's what we're built for, bro. Powerhouse team. You already know it's gonna be a dog fight. Ready to compete right there, KB. Ready to compete. Good! Zach, come on, he can do everything. Jalen Dern is what, 6'9 and 240, I'm guessing. Big fella, great rim protector and great finisher around the rim. Rebound, get back! Pin! Come on now. Hey, we have to get back and sprint and talk. In the beginning of the game, started off flat to start defensively. No three! Caleb Houston, he's a shooter. You can't give him no space at all. Let's go, Middle! Pull this out. In the beginning of the game,
game started off flat defensively. We ended up having to call a couple timeouts to make sure it didn't get out of control. Ah, yeah. We had to get some stops. You know, if it's not there, you know, that I'm still out there. Play in attack mode, don't play on your heels. We kind of have like a glossy look in our eye, not a competitive, fiery, yep. nasty, competitive, competitive. Let's get that to be good, right? Hey, hey, you played a terrible quarter and you're down five. Let's go. It's Good hit! They're absolutely raining threes right now. Jaden, go get, hold on. Get, get Zach, put Kendall at the four. What's on my mind is just making any plays possible, making an impact in the game, and just helping us win. Yeah, G! Good, G! That's playing ball. Come on, Kenny. Don't be afraid to shoot the ball. Shoot the first one, all right? Kennedy's just putting us on his back. Yeah! Here we go. Be ready to shoot all day, baby. We rolling. We just gotta keep it going. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, KB got bunnies. You cannot jump with him. I won't even jump with him, and I can jump too, but I'm not messing with Mr. Brown. That guy's real. You got two. Jaden brings great energy, offense, defense. It's the whole package. Big shot, son. Big freaking shot, boy. Good shot, Jess. Jay. Tie game with Kendall Brown having two points. We gotta stay in front of our man. Yeah. I'm trying not to foul though, cause I already have two. Let me get a run. Jalen, Jalen Duran get mad, and once we stop him after they get that run, we won the game. He got literally all their points. Like no one else is scoring besides him. Sometimes you gotta talk trash to him, but they ain't giving the ball. He even gave him bad, take bad shots. Y'all gotta talk to him. Hey, can you gotta talk? I know you don't like talking, but get in his head, bro. Like talk to him like, damn, bro, they pass you the ball. He like getting his head. No, no. What's it? What's it tied up? Yeah. Yeah. They got their run. We finna our run the second half right here. They're number one, we're number three, this is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a one possession game. We don't walk in here like disappointed or shocked that the game's tied, like we're good. But we gotta make some adjustments so that we can go out there and win a one possession game. We're not guarding the ball very well. Keep the ball in front of you, contest, and win the glass. We maybe have information overload, go back to the basics of freaking competing. Let's go back to the basics of freaking sitting down and locking up. We need everything we got. You got 16 minutes to compete and play as hard as you can play. All the little things that we demand of you daily, give me everything you got, man. Everything you got for 16 minutes. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
It's a lot of game left, now. This is the biggest deficit we've had all season. They're punking us, man. We gotta we gotta play with a lot more fight, a lot less fear, and a lot more fight. Good. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah, Will. How can you grab the ball to him like that? The ball's on its way up, you can't grab the ball like that. It's cool to me. It's not my call to make it from the best. I got you, I got you, I got you. Hey, listen, they're tight. They're tight, next pass, next play. Next pass, next play, next pass, next play. Kinda gives a buck in the paint with a minute to go. We gotta get this. You're down three with like a minute 20. We don't need to do anything crazy to get the ball back because there's three possessions in this game and you're down by one. This possession defensively, Needs to be the most urgent, with the most voice, and the most tough. Get it stop, get it stop. Come on, Zach. Go, Django! Good net! Grab on! It's now or never. Time to show what we got. I'm not sure we're going to be able to pull this out. Go, 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 go. Nimhard stuck a big corner three. He took it and made it, and it was, it was a big shot. Let's go get an easy layup. On the back door. Can come up and get it. Stay high up here. We got back door well for a layup. If it's not there, don't force it. Kendall set it when Willie comes off and we gotta play. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Chop, 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 chop. It all comes down to this right here. Come on, Ken! Come on, Ken! Go, Zach! Malver wins, and we got our first loss of the season. I was mad. We shouldn't have lost. I don't like losing to anything. We want to go undefeated, and that's just not going to happen now. The loss hit hard. I hate losing. You got down 10, you fought your way back, got yourself a chance, and it came down to 55-52 with a minute to go. There was a stretch from like three minutes to that one minute, and we took like five or six wide open shots. In the end, our shots just didn't fall when we needed them to. Think about the possessions that you just really pissed away. Possessions are wasted, and we wish you could have back. Think about how you started the third quarter with zero competitive energy, zero fight, zero dog, zero toughness. I'm asking you to fight in the first half. I'm asking you to fight to start the second half. I'm asking you to fight out of a timeout in the third quarter when they jump out and go 6-0 on us. I'm begging you. I just feel like we let our foot off the gas a little bit and that's what got us. If we really, 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 really competed for 32, which I don't think we did, some of those balls go in. The ball rewards energy and toughness. We're gonna get it right, we're gonna figure it out. The big picture, it's a loss, but still got the national championship to win. We need to get back to work. I'd be the tough guy, the gritty guy on the team. Yeah, Will! He's always bringing energy. He's just a defensive machine. No matter the game you have, you can always affect the game with defense. Basketball gave me the outlet to move to a place like Kansas. Coming to Sunrise, it was higher at first. Not being with my mom. Luke had us practice every day, 6 o'clock in the morning running. I never, like, worked that hard. 
I just had to get comfortable being uncomfortable. What drives me to play basketball is my granny and my city. Just looking like it's no hope. I just try to give it hope. Basketball is a way out for sure. I grew up in Niagara Falls, New York. It's kind of a bad area. I do know Willie's been around some crazy stuff. I got a big brother, but he's he not here no more, though. He's passed on? Yeah, he died the first day I get here. Like, he was shot? Was it a gang-related thing? Mm-hmm, stuff like that. He's a tough kid, and he doesn't like to show emotion. Because this is just what happened, though. He's seen a lot, and I've also seen a lot. But that's just come with the inner city. When stuff happened, I never really cry about it or get down about it, because I know it could be worse than Coach E. Case. I was eight or nine years old, and there was a war at my doorstep. Forced to get out the house, run into the woods, have to pretty much live in the woods. But once I told him my story, he was very open with me, and we clicked ever since. Coach E, that's like my big brother I never had, for real. I just make sure he's okay at all times. I make sure he's on campus. I make sure he comes to the house at a certain time. Always checking in with him and seeing if he's okay. Just big brother stuff. Anything I need, I can call Coach E. He might get mad during basketball, cuts me out. So this is this what kind of attitude you want to have coming out? But at the end of the day, it's all, I know it's all love and he want the best for me. He's got a big heart and maybe that's the reason why everybody loves him. Now, we're gonna go get in a van and we're gonna go to Arlington National Cemetery. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't know if there's gonna be armed guards or whatnot, who knows? It's a crazy time in our world right now. But the reason that we get to do this in this free world is because of those graves. It's bigger than basketball. I mean, it humbles us because these people fought for us. It makes us appreciate the little things. That dude's only 18 years old. Died to be a time. You're 18. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's a long 12 days. It's hard, but be grateful for it. A lot of lives have been lost for us to be where we're currently at. It's crazy. That's surreal. It's like, if you're looking out, it's literally like endless. Like just tombs on tombs. The eternal flame. John F. Kennedy's grave site. I've been here before, <laughs> in eighth grade, but it's been a while, so it's just crazy every time. People to sacrifice their lives for, for us to be here now, so like, I'm just trying to I take it as a blessing, like being able to play, because some people aren't playing right now. Like with the rules they have in their states, they're not playing, so for me to have the opportunity to come here and be able to play and meet this team and like be able to bond with these guys, I'm not taking it for granted. Wasatch is a top 10 team. Wasatch is a great team with guys going to top programs. We know 23 is going to Ohio State. He's a good player. I grew up with the same basketball team since we was young. I know you can. It's good to play against him and good to see him because I ain't seen him in like a year. He gonna, he gonna knock that out of I know. One playmaker, he can you start on him. He also can shoot. Two, doesn't want to pass, wants to shoot. Lola Hickman is a shifty dude just like Darius Garland. He's a tough player. There's not much depth. And you get two and one tired, their shooting percentages start to drop. This is a marathon of Latin days. The games have taken a toll on the body. It's tough to bring intensity every night on the long, long trip. A lot of minutes for our starters. But we got to do our best to fight through. We want to be number one. You ain't going to be there unless you take care of today. Yeah! We jumped on them early. KB, you a bucket, bro. Yeah! Come on, Kenny, go strong. Kenny's not playing great. Yeah. Man, come on. Come on, Kenny. Why are we so soft? You can get a rebound and then you turn it over. You gotta be ready to play. Come on, fellas. But we're not doing good enough down here. We need to have better help defense. Defense has got to separate this game, right? Defense on three, one, two, three. Defense. I dive on the floor for the loose ball. We needed that. Jaden has added intensity on defense. That block was tough. Jaden never gives up on that play. That should have been on Sports Center for sure. Yeah, crazy bunny. 
job, KB. KB's not all dunks. He's got finesse too. Hey. Nobody can stop Willie. Willie, Willie, good job, boy. Go in, you have to do your job. I'm kind of the big brother that says, hey, this is what you gotta do. Yesterday you did your job, today you're not doing your job. We gotta play gritty. Now you see how they play, yeah. play exactly like them. They have freaking McDonald's All-Americans. They're gonna fight you and compete, so it's gonna take the possession where you dive for a 25-foot ball and you get a shot clock. Last man standing, be the last man standing. All right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Nolan Hickman is a walking bucket. Good. No, that's just a bad pass. It's not there, don't throw it. Be smart. We gotta turn things around. Your energy freaking sucks, and your energy freaking sucks. I got one dude freaking competing. I got one dude competing! I told you it's a freaking dog fight. Raise your level of drive, raise your level of fight. Be tougher. We already had one loss here, I'm not planning for another. I'm begging you, man. You're the number one point guard in the country. Freaking play like it. <laughs> He knows where he throws it. I'm gonna go get it. That's why he's the number one plunker in the country. You don't feel like playing. Kenny's really not playing good right now. Luke trusted me to make the substitution. Get Kenny out. So I decided to take Kenny out. You don't want to play today. Kenny, wake up. Sub me out for for no reason. Kenny is pissed. Go. Kenny just kicked the chair. Kenny crazy, but when he get mad, he start getting crazy. Don't do that no more. Don't do that. Just soft, soft, soft. So I say some words to him. Kenny cursed at him, because Kenny really not scared of nothing. Kenny, Kenny is savage. Kenny just has some stuff that I don't let grown men say to me. To say that something like that to Coach E, he like 6'5", 280, and he, I think he lived about every day. Lucky you're not my age, talking to me like that. I think he wanted to fight me. And Coach E was about to fight him. Kenny almost brought the big dog out. So lucky he's not my age. Talking to me like that. I told him, let's take it outside. <laughs> 12 rounds in a boxing ring. I'm about to take my boy Kenny. I might take Kenny off the reach though. Strong man Kenny, Sweden Kenny, that's my guy. What yeah, the hell, bro? We got boxing gloves. <laughs> JB, I bet you a thousand dollars that coach EB, KP in a fight. I think it'll be a good fight, honestly. Kenny can't mess with your heart. But he was a little scared, so. So he sat back down. <laughs> this is a one possession game. We made our run, they made their run. Where's our response? We need to step up the defensive intensity. We just look lost out there. You've been prepared for this moment. You either give in or you go to the well and you dig in and you find it, all right? Hey, let's go, let's go. Short! KB always knows how to get some bucket in tough moments. We cash for real right now. Really with the step back. Dub City. The minute the buzzer sounded, he came and gave me a hug and apologized. I love you, man. <laughs> he did the battle. I got a lot of love for you. All right. Yep. I dubbed him up to the game and it was cool. I get frustrated because you're one of my favorites and I want you to play well. So it pisses me off even more. It's like, even, even after this, you're going to have a great career, bro. You're going to make money playing this game. He was very regretful and we went off from there. We played four games in five days. That was a high level game with a lot of really good players on the floor. They shot it well, their bigs played out of this world, and you got it done. And it wasn't pretty. We got to a moment where it's like, what are we about? And to our team's credit and to our maturity, you figured it out. It was nitty gritty time. We made big plays. In a 25 to 30 game season, you gotta find a way to win eight or nine games that aren't your best. We handled adversity through the game. All the adversity, me and Kenny cussing at each other on the bench, it's little stuff like that. They, they had 26 turnovers. And that's good players. That's a guy going to Kentucky having eight turnovers in a high school game. It is something to be proud of, but again, long week, right? We ain't going to make no more excuses, though. We're going to throw them out the window and, and keep winning and keep winning every game. We're going to go get something to eat, go back to the hotel. I'm like, I know, I know 
for a fact y'all got some work to do in the classroom. I know y'all got work to do in the classroom. As much as we don't want to think about that, as much as we don't want to process that, we got to get to work the next couple days, okay? Got to get to work. When we're not playing basketball, this is what it looks like. We were off school for two weeks, so we had to find time to do uh, homework. If we don't get good grades, coach, he's not going to let us practice or play. Believe it or not, our school is actually hard and we have a bunch of work to do. The only reason we're in here is because we have good grades. My GPA is at least 4.0. If we don't, we'd be in the main room doing study hall with the coaches. What's your best subject? A PE. <laughs> yeah, I'm the smartest guy on the team, school-wise. Definitely. <laughs> How are your grades in Sweden? Oh, I failed every class. School was so much harder back home. I just came here and it was so much easier. It's a lot of work, but it's easy. The homework is so easy, simple. They expect more from us back home, and feel like more intelligent people back there than here. Come on now, we don't need none of that. No offense. I can speak three languages. Say, let's go play some basketball in all three languages, you know. Come, we go play basket. Manan pelan kori palo. Let's go play some basketball. Kenny Pelo is very funny. People think he's so serious and so like, tough and all this, but like he's so soft inside. Like when we travel, I'm his roommate every time. Hello, everybody. And all he does is jokes, eats, and works out. Kenny, what's your best subject? Wait. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> and I'm usually right there with him too. How are you feeling today, Star? I'm good. That's, that's my guy. Like, as a person, he's a great guy. Probably my best friend on the team. <laughs> How was it growing up in Sweden? Different from I don't know. I grew up in Stockholm with my mom and my two siblings. I've been here eight years. I think I've had uh, three Swedish guys. He was really highly touted. I think he was like top 20 in Europe. I didn't know much about Sunrise, but I decided to try it and it worked out perfectly. His journey from where he got here to where he is now is, is pretty night and day. He barely played a sophomore year to this year being our anchor defensively. Yeah! On the court, he can shoot it, he can drive, he can put the body on you, fake spin. He's a great player, you know. From a kid two years before that could barely see the floor, it's, it's a pretty cool growth to see. Bye everybody, this was Sunrise Christian Academy, episode five. Episode six. Episode 10. Episode seven. Just vibe everyone. We better head out, you know, gotta fix the hair. Go to get this dub. If you didn't play well yesterday, go out there and just play as hard as you can. All right, let's go, come on. Good response, your energy, your focus, your effort defensively was what it needed to be. I'm not gonna let a loss affect us, so we just gotta keep moving forward and we feel good about it. That's number nine in the country, and you just embarrassed him. Whoa, you go like this. Yeah, we've had a lot of free time on our hands. Whoopsie. Bubble life, man. Halfway through the week, and we were like fragged. It's exhausting. What is he doing? Drop the ball! Rotate! Rotate! You gotta be ready to go help him. There isn't a magic dust where we're gonna score every seven seconds. It's not there. They guard too hard. Take out any stupid crap that's inside of your brain, inside of your mind, inside of your heart. Just remove it and let's go with us. When things are challenging, what do you do? You're tired, pick your brother up. We got four freaking more days here. This thing ain't over. We're just at the hotel getting a light workout in. We got a lot of downtime here at this bubble, and you know we gotta make some TikToks. <laughs> That's uncalled for. <laughs> what are y'all doing? This is called treadmill yoga ball. <laughs> Why is that so satisfying? You gotta roll it this way. We got film at one. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. This was not my fault. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> 
no yoga balls will harm in making this video. It's time to, let's go. Another day here in the bubble. The sink's filled. This is it. What happened? Who oh, did it? Like... Being in a bubble is definitely a fun experience. All right, guys, get in bed. Who's going to stay in a hotel for two weeks? We got to run because we can't start slow right now. Today we got IMG Academy, top five team in the country. They got guys going to Michigan, Indiana. That's a tough program. For the final three hours. Being in a bubble this long is different. What? We need everybody for these final two and a half, three hours to fight. It's time we let everybody know what we're made of. We're to the last two and a half hours and we need all 12, all four staff, cameraman, every freaking ounce for three hours. Come on, let's go. We can't even show you this game. That's how good we were. We were so amped because we were down. No one thought we were gonna win. But no, we showed the world something else. It's lit, man. I can't tell you how awful the start was. We make it hard on ourselves. We got down 21 to nine. And you just dug in and you dug in and you fought 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 and you fought. fought. Played together as a team and we're just there for each other. It's the toughest team in America. We dug down deep. We found something. We went somewhere and we found something. We gotta take a couple days. We're gonna heal our brains. It was a long week. Cause I know we're tired. We're gonna heal our bodies. It means everything. And we're gonna win some more, okay? Hey. Oh! And it's great to be back home. We'll go today, tomorrow, take Sunday off, and then we'll be ready to rock by next week. We gotta get back to work. Don't be satisfied, don't be satisfied. We need to want to be here. Let's get after it, let's have high energy, all right? Three man week, let's go. Dude, dude. Sprint, 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 sprint. Good pass, good, good. Be sharp, be sharp, be sharp. We go hard in practice, and I feel like it translated to the games. We had time, struggled to do this. That little pass for that little layup. Coach Luke is a great coach. That's why I went here. Coach Luke has high expectations for us. Four, go. The goals never change. Players change, seasons change, but the expectations and the goals are still, we want to win a national championship at Sunrise. I'm now joined by Kendall Brown. He's one of the top recruits in the nation. Kendall Brown is the most gifted athlete that I've been around. On the court, I mean, he's just, Freak of nature, like he jumps out the gym. Nobody can jump with KB. Are you a big fan of the dunk contest? I'm not really like a dunk contest person. Like I just jump high. <laughs> He's an unbelievable quick jumper. So he gets to his peak before anybody else is even off the ground at times. He's caught by like, I don't know, a thousand lobs this year. You could throw it anywhere around the rim and he'll go dunk it. You're a menace on defense. You just had six steals in one of the games in the bubble. If I can contribute score and I can contribute on the defensive end. And then he also, is an underrated passer. For a guy that led us in scoring for two years, he isn't a volume guy, which is impressive. You have another bubble coming up. What did you learn from the first one that you'll now be bringing to the second one? It's a marathon. Uh, it's a lot of games. Uh, you're gonna be tired. So just know that we gotta like pace ourselves and uh, just push through it in the end. Last year, we were like a top three team, but we were always the underdog. But this year, we got expectations. We gotta show out whenever we get on the court. My goal this season is to win a national championship, become a McDonald's All-American. That's a goal since a youngin', me and my dad set. I grew up in College Grove, Minnesota, pretty small city, five minutes from St. Paul, 10 minutes from St. Paul. My inspirations growing up, definitely my dad. He played for the Harlem Globetrotters. He was just a role model for me in the basketball way. And you committed to Baylor to play there next year. Congratulations on that. I committed to Baylor. Coach Nunes and my dad go way back. It's the overall style of play. Like, I feel like I could really succeed there. My dad always took me to basketball games. That's where I just knew where I wanted to be. I didn't have, like, no other plan B. It was just straight basketball or nothing. The game of basketball to me is a very simple game, but also a very beautiful game as well.
Sometimes Willie doesn't keep his head. He get frustrated with himself. You can't be yelling like that. Just relax. Coach E like the big brother, and Coach Lou like is like the dad. Remember, I told you, you gotta be even keel. Point guard is never up and down. You're even keel. I don't want to lead by example, showing him what I could do and what he should do next year. Get through it. Get through it. Good. Tough shot. Teams are going to run actions at us. We have plays. They run plays. Cool. Let's get through all those plays. And it's just your principles and your toughness and your competitiveness. Snares out three. Family out six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Family get it. Too much ice? That's not working. We got a business project due tomorrow. Our business is called K-Max Slushies. What's our slogan? Many flavors filled with joy. How much do I plan on selling these for? Retail around 100, I mean 150. Dollar 50, I mean. Kendall and J-Mac would never have a business together. We're just young entrepreneurs, so this is a start. It'll probably last a week or two weeks, and then it'll shut down. How are we gonna make the flavors? We just put water in? I'm gonna be real, I don't know how to make these slushies. I don't got a recipe. It was so last minute. Looks like more of a drink. <laughs> for one, we didn't have a slushie make. Any takers? I, I like some. There you go, sir, Mr. Kenny Chandler. One and only. Kenny Chandler. King Kennedy. The slushies, uh, they were horrible. <laughs> Honestly, I think the slushies are pretty good, honestly. You selling those on Monday? Yeah, $4.50. Well, like, what makes me want to buy this? K-Max slushies. A lot of flavors. Lunchroom, Monday, Monday. Monday. $1.50. They make you go crazy. Go to you, bro. Go over here, bro. How much do you weigh, bro? Yeah, it's a little heavy now. 280. 280 with a side of gravy. I bet you we can lift you. You think so? Yeah, sit down. <laughs> Watch this. All right. We only need four, four volunteers, so. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. So we're gonna put our fingers like this, the four okay. corners, armpits, with legs. We're gonna try to lift you, and we're gonna see if it doesn't work. So let's try this first. Okay. Next one, the second part. Without the match. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Keep a little heavy, all right, all right. So then we're gonna stack our hands on his head. No we're gonna go in this order. Like so I'll go first. Grady. Oh, so much energy. All right. I take it out, Jelly. <laughs> Kenny. We're gonna make you fly. Alright, now nah, nah, we're about to throw you. What? I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. We did it. Dark magic. That's witchcraft right there. I guess this spell lifts big people. That's weird. You can't be playing with that magic. Grady's just a little wizard, I guess. I'm gonna get out of here before I get cursed, so. Bro, the bank always open. It's me and Jaden. We walking over to House 14. What is y'all doing, bro? They all in the garage. We having fun, as you can see. How y'all get this? Overtime, you see what it says. Oh, that said overtime. I didn't even see all that. Man, yeah, that's tough. Why we ain't got one, though? I'm, I'm confused. Because we the best. Obviously, look at us. <laughs> the Jays roll in, and they think it's sweet. I think we need one. I mean, yeah, I think we need one, too. I'd love to have one. Oh, well. well, you don't got one, so what you? Well, I got an idea. What's your idea then? How about we play for it? Play for it. It's a challenge. Whoever wins gets to take the pop shot home. House 14 versus with house. Right, Highest bet. score wins, all right? That's a bet. In the time limit. Bet. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't make it. Oh, that's one. You can't make it. Yeah, G. Yeah, G. Yeah. Grady, he's a shooter. He can shoot on anything. Damn, I'm killing you. It's over. It's over? You suck, for real. Why are you shooting right handed? <laughs> Nowhere near my best work. I completely sucked. Y'all know who won 26 15. Round two Z Clemens versus Jaden. Now let's get it, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> bro, this house got a team full of shooters, bro. Yeah. My house isn't the best at doing challenges. It's the last round. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Yes, sir. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, it didn't count. It didn't count. I'll take it. Yeah, well. Oh, 
Zwei. Oh. Ja. Oh, oh, wait, it's overtime. Yeah. Overtime. Oh. Overtime. Oh. Overtime. Come on. Let's get it. I'm going for the backboard. Oh, that's a 20 piece. Goodbye. This staying here. Yeah. That's, 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 that's how y'all feel like? This. This us. Right. Got a blast. Squad. Man, he just kicked us out the crib. Like, that's how you gonna do it? Dang. All right, bet. The Papa Shot is in house 14 where it belongs. Man, we don't need that goal. We did all that talking and we got smacked. <laughs> Beat it, nerds. Grady. Dude, come on! He said, dude, dude! Final league game of the season, we got Oak Hill. Play them tonight. We finished our second bubble and then hit the road to be in Nebraska on Thursday. So, quick turnaround. We're just a little banged up, so trying oh, to yeah. save the legs a little bit. We don't have our point guard. Kennedy's had a pretty bad ankle injury, about three straight games. He kept tweaking, he kept tweaking, he kept tweaking it. The Montverde game, nobody probably knows this, but it was twice the size of his other one. And he kind of sucked it up and played. My ankle's killing me. I need rehab, I need to take time off. It's going to get worse. He's back home getting the uh, like x-rays and MRIs. Will he probably go to start? The message is, don't be him, be you. But you're going to have to lead more. I told him it's your time to step up. It's your time to shine. Without him, this is going to be really tough tonight. If I was them, I'd probably be like, all right, we're licking our chops, man. Kennedy ain't here, he ain't playing. We got these dudes. Oak Hill is one of the top teams in high school basketball history. But to me, like, if I'm y'all, I take that challenge. You think it's this, but it's really not. Carmelo, KD, so many hoopers been through Oak Hill. Take that challenge on personally, and let's go beat these dudes. Let's get it. Let's get it. You ready to scrap? Get him up! We're literally wide open every possession. Damn. Oh! You're the fastest dude on the court, now show it, right? Oh! Yes, Willie. Yes, yes. Yeah, Willie, I see you. Jaden, he stepped up. Great quarter. You really guarded the piss out of him. One transition basket, we'll live with that all day. But the human instinct does is like, oh, well, these dudes aren't very good. We've got them locked up. No, no. 24 more minutes of us defending our tails off. All right, let's go, let's go. Travel, close. Come on, man. You gotta finish that, son. You gotta go punish the rim. Boy, without Kennedy, I don't know what to run. Keep putting pressure on the rim. We're just missing layup after layup after layup. Rebound it! Rebound it! Oh my God! Rebound! Go, go, Jay! Yes, Jay! Yes, Jay! Yes, Jay! Yes, Jay. I had to dive on the floor for the loose ball, and I feel like it's just what needs to be done for us to just make winning plays. I'll live with that all day, son. Get in there to Zach deep. Look who's guarding him. Look at that. Barbecue chicken. Yes, every time. That's tough. That's insane. There's a lot of contact. Woo! Yeah. Take me right. What happened? Need a knee? Oh! Get back! Good job, Eve! Get back! Come out. We got to sprint. Got to quit jogging back. That's the only way they score is in transition. Good, don't reach. Be solid. Five, 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 five! Good, Zach. Go on, you got two seconds. Good, Jay. Good, good. Good job. Good job, boy. Good job, Mac. I've got four timeouts. I'm going to have to strategically use them to keep us fresh because we're getting tired. 
If you pass the ball more than like two or three times, they're done. But if you just stand around and watch, we're not organized and we end up just driving the ball into trouble and taking a bad shot. We've missed eight or nine layups and you scored 28. You should have had 50. Jogging is not the solution. If you let them play fast, they're really, really good. Play with a lot of urgency. All right, let's go. Good pass. Good pass, Kenny. Strong! Oh my God! Kenny! Good shot, Bay. Don't sleep on my Swedish boy. He he knows what he's doing. Come on, come on. Oh, Willie's tired. Willie's tired. Willie's tired. Willie's tired. Willie's tired. We're tired. I know we're tired, so we just took a little breather here to finish this quarter off strong. Five, two, three. Ten, Ten seconds. Let me remind you, you were in the same position after the first quarter, and then you came out and kind of laid an egg. No, you need it. Stop. Start with the stop, Black. Start with the stop. Hey, 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 hey. Next play, next play, next play, next play, next play, next play. Willie wasn't happy about the call, so Coach Luke had to step in. Listen, stop, stop. I'd rather you freaking go hard and foul him than not go at all and like let him shoot it, you know? At least you're playing hard. Rebound. We can't get a rebound, it's killing us. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Full. You're gonna let a bunch of freaking soft dudes out rebound you? Are you serious? They don't do nothing that you guys do, and you're letting them pump you. They've got like six offensive rebounds in this quarter alone. Because there's not enough stink, there's not enough nasty in five minutes, y'all. Come on. We can't get one to go. Hey, B, it's a grown man rebound, son. It's money time, let's go, it's money time. Damn it, free throws and layups, man. Now, what are we from the free throw line? Oh, Jesus, crying that way. Free throws and layups. Strong! <laughs> Ain't none of that soft stuff around here. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Keep eating down there. You freaking bank that in. If we're winning this game, I got to be the difference maker. Put the ball on the floor, so I was just being polite. Good. Oh yeah, Louis! Man, I love that Willie sealed the dub for us. He deserves yeah, it. Good, 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 good. We have a player of the game. Yeah. I'm really proud of our guys. Like that could have been a game that could have went south a couple of times, and a couple guys really stepped up and made some big plays. Grady Dick was huge. Let's go, player of the game. All right, y'all. This is my my Hyundai. Jalen loves the rims. Shout out Jalen. Get the rustic look. Proud parent of a scholar. Put that on there last year. We used to have a little shoes in the back. Shout out Kendall. Thanks for shattering my mirror. All I do is, <laughs> bro, all I do is back up, bro. What the heck? Bro, your car sucks, bro. I had to spend a Christmas present on that. Wasted money, but hey, it looks good. Me being the Wichita kid that I got the car. I'm kind of a little chauffeur or whatever, so I take Kendall, Zach, Kennedy, wherever. <laughs> I make him drive since he's a young man. So 
So we're just gonna go get some food. My car. I should get paid. I should get paid for that, but no. No, none of them are gonna get my car. These keys, I hide them. No one's getting those. I already know one of them gonna scratch my car, not tell me something bad is gonna happen. Bro, your car sucks, bro. But yeah, this is my high school though. I haven't been here forever. Kansas high school basketball. It's good, but what Grady's aspirations are, it's a no-brainer for him to make a step to a prep school like ours. Big guard, really athletic. Great player. He's tall, he's very long. He can do pretty much everything. He's amazing. He's an animal. I think I surprised a lot of people because they kind of see me step on the floor and they see a tall white dude. Everyone thought they could just pin my stuff, but <laughs> now they get dunked on. Grady got the full package, and he can play above the rim. To be honest, I, I kind of like it. Like, stay on him, he can shoot, and, like, let him dribble. I take that as a compliment to shoot it, but, like, if they want to let me dribble and kind of pump fake on my shots, I'll finish above the rim. <laughs> as early as I can remember, my family put the ball in my hands. I have three other siblings, play as many sports as possible. Obviously, me being the youngest, they kind of picked on me and kind of bullied me on the court, but that just made me a lot tougher. My mom, biggest influence and biggest role model for basketball I have, is she played at Iowa State and then professionally in Japan for a year. Just the fact that kind of she went through that recruiting process and kind of knows what it goes into going pro, it's pretty special to have. Yeah, this is my neighborhood, pulling in. As you can see, a little nicer than House 14. <laughs> home sweet home. Good games this weekend. <laughs> Thank you. You miss me. I do miss you, Brady. But at least you're close. Yeah. Yep. Ten minutes away. We saw you made a big decision the last couple weeks. Narrowed your school choice down to eight. Single digit number. They kind of have to recruit me hard, and I like it. Zach, want you to go to KU? Yeah, I literally have Zach in the basement. Want me to go to KU, then I walk upstairs, and Kendall's want me to go to Baylor, so this is hard. Leaving next year. All y'all leaving me. Leaving me with Willie. <laughs> You'll be fine. You're gonna be a leader, you know? Do you in the fire right away this year? We taught you what to do and how to do it. Like, you should know what to do, man. Yeah. Just lead, but you gotta lead them. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to get Gray to come to Baylor for sure. That's my boy. Come to Baylor, you know where it's at. Got them in your top eight. You just wanna be with Zach, huh? I don't know. I can't wait to put on a Kansas jersey with Grady and walk on the floor that one time. <laughs> Everywhere I go, it's Baylor, Kansas. Grady is probably the funniest, weirdest person you'll ever meet. It's like non-stop though. The TikTok is Grady wants to do is just cringe. You better start focusing. Every time I looked up, you died. <laughs> We got a tough game against Bellevue West, who's got really, really, really high-level guards, and they've played together for a long, long time. It's going to be a group that's really cohesive. It's going to take a good effort from us to make sure that we don't get knocked off. It's like the state of Nebraska against us tonight. <laughs> the whole gym wanting that team to win, you know? Road game. Yeah. I can't make the Nebraska trip. My ankle's killing me. We for sure aren't the same squad without mm. Chef, bro. No, we're not. Oh, I'm gonna see what's up. Let me see if he tuned in and see if he's got something to say. See if he's talked to Willie. Chef. Yo. What's up, Hank? What's good, Hank? <laughs> I just wanted to call them, see how they were doing, see how the players were doing. So what's going on, bro? What you been up to? It happened twice a day. Then, uh, you know, they wish I was there. You know, I wish I was there too, but you know, my health comes first. Been tough game tonight. Yeah, they're tough. They got the point guards going to uh, Wisconsin. You can have some players that need to step up. Willie's going to take care of them, though. I know, I know I'll get the win. He told him best. He said, don't try to be Kennedy. You just got to be yourself. I'm going to call him like that. Obviously, we're not the same without you, but so make sure you keep taking care of that stuff. All right, gotcha. All right, bro. Later. Oh no, it feels good to have all these fans again. We want good ball pressure. We want to make guys that catch and shoot uncomfortable every time they touch the ball. We want them to feel like, oh crap, there's nothing I can do. I got to go away, I got to bounce it away, and I got to pass it. Stay on our matchups and let's lock these dudes up. They're 20 and one, they're ranked in top 25. They're fiending for an opportunity like this to play you guys and specifically without your best player. It just can't be just one person, you know, trying to carry the team, all of us got to step up together. When Kennedy's not out there, the team's just missing a leader. I know I have to step up. Like they're playing these on schools, man. They ain't done what you've done. They haven't competed against the people you've competed against. We need to impose our will. We dictate what happens. We control the pace. We are more physical. We are more tough. They're gonna fight you. They're gonna wanna light you up. They're gonna make runs, handle it together. We're gonna make runs. Stay focused for 32 and impose your will for 32. Come on.
don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling real competitive. Yeah, good pass, Zach. Yeah, good pass. Come on, Kitty. I put a dunk down and that's light work. That's nothing for me. Without Kennedy, a bunch of people had to step up from knocking down shots to coming off the bench to just energy in general. Grab it, grab it with two hands, Zach! Oh, what is Zach doing? What is he doing? He needs a punch to stop laying it up. Come on, KB, you can't lose him, KB! Chucky, he's a bucket. Okay, they're fronting. So get in here, and if I'm the backside big, all you have to do is lift and throw high-low. It is wide to flip open, but you have to stick the ball in. Quick on, Sob. Go freaking stick the ball in, right? Woo! This crowd, they definitely not here for us. And you can obviously tell you're on the road. You're kind of just doing your own thing and it looks crazy. But if you execute, we can get a high low and a layup. I'm telling you, you can get layups, okay? Oh Jaden Aiken, he's another walking bucket. A little sloppy and they take advantage. I mean, I told you, this is gonna be a dog fight. I told you. Their pressure on the ball is making you so afraid. Catch the ball and freaking dunk it. Like, lay the ball in. We expect it to be easy. It's not gonna be easy. They have like four Division I players. They've been the aggressor. They've been the more physical team. They've, they, they've wanted it more, which I told you they would. This is their one chance. This is their one opportunity. And they've punched us in the mouth and we're kind of like stumbling a little bit right now. It's a good team. So respect them and then impose your will. Respect them and freaking compete. Let's go, man, let's go. Come on, let's go. Gotcha. You take Willie really lightly at your own risk. You go and mess around. Good, G. Grab it, grab it. Be solid, be solid. Good, Jaden. Good, good, yeah, yo, let's yeah. go! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Will! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Will! Yeah, Will! Yeah, yeah. Will. Yeah, Will. Yeah. Willie and Jaden stepping up is huge, because that's what we need. Strong! That's it, that's it, we got it, we got the lead, let's go. That's the man right there, all right? Every time in there, go dominate. Dominate the paint. I can lead the horse to water, but I can't make him drink. Let's go. Get up! That's from New York. They just hitting threes on us, we don't know what to do. Good, J-Mac. Good. Good. 
Way to run us out. Good job, buddy. You had an eight point lead, you battle and you got a lead, it's gonna be a dog fight. So eight minutes more of competitiveness and being tough. <laughs> He's a beast in the paint. Every time. Okay. Hey, watch. We throw, we've been throwing it in. The corner going to be open now. They're going to be having yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, yeah. They didn't look like a straight weapon. I feel like not a lot of people know. I really can get buckets. Go win it! Chase it! Chase it! What you have to do there is take a charge. If they see you standing up and you're 16, they're gonna call it every time. Even though it wasn't. You were, you were shielded, you did what you're supposed to do, you just take a charge. Willie gets blocked and goes down hard. They come back and turn a three, and we gotta call a timeout. Stop. Look at the score. You're still up six. We have the momentum. Don't let the fans and everything get you out of your game, okay? Let's go Jaden, okay, Kendall, and Willie. Jaden, you're gonna go down after Zach clears, and you're gonna come through an elevator, boom, up here. And then flash and flash. Good, throw it, move. Slow down, patience. Go by. Good time. Jaden! Kenny, Kenny. Jay, you need to knock him out. I got you an easy one. Good luck the rest of the way. Good job, y'all. Great job, y'all. Chucky. Help again, son. You got a bright future, son. That's a really well coached team that have been together and won state championship and like with a lot of players and a lot of talent. And we're out, we're out Kennedy, so yeah. in comes Jay Nakins who played phenomenal the second half. So. Let's bring him in. Thanks, yeah. Coach. It felt great my breakout game in Nebraska just being the player of the game. I feel like I can get it done on both ends. We here coming for everybody else in the country. At sunrise, I show more of the defensive end, but I feel like I can do it all. Peace. This is boring. It's boring? We do this all day. So me and Kenny are shooting dice again, and suddenly he gets this bright idea. Let's arm wrestle. Arm wrestle? Arm wrestle, come on. I just suggested that we should, like, arm wrestling competition. Arm wrestling, you're scared? The arm wrestling challenge. Arm wrestle. Arm wrestle. So whoever loses, he's gonna have to do something super embarrassing. Something bad, you know? <laughs> you got any rules? <laughs> no rules? I don't know, I've never done this. Me neither. <laughs> Check this out. Yo, peep the arms, man. All right, who's next? Nice. Nice. You went Willie? Go. Oh. That was unfair. I do have three years on him. And a lot of muscle mass. Let's get ready to rumble. I think I'm gonna pull it out. I'm stronger than him. The arm wrestling challenge, we got me versus Kendall. Oh! Let's go! Turn up! J-Mac, you're weak. See this, bro? That was my left hand. But he got lucky, honestly. If my shoulder wasn't hurting, I'm sorry, Kendall Brown, but I would have won. The losers are Jalen, Kenny, Kennedy, <laughs> and right. Fred. Time to collect. Hold this. 
That's why you should have tried and win. I tried to win. I'm just weak. I'm not happy about it, but uh, a deal is a deal. I'm not going back away from that. So it's the hunk it for hot challenge. So sign says, <laughs> hunk it for hot. So hopefully I get some sweet honeys out here. Cars are honking right away. Hunk it for hot. I wish we would have figured out the punishment beforehand. I'm not happy about this. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Jay might do too much, man. Hawk, hawk, hawk. Honk it for hot! And then Jalen all of a sudden takes his shirt off and starts swinging around people honking. I took my shirt off like, I don't care. It's cold, but oh well, it's a challenge. I'm not look good for the ladies, come on now. You know, Jalen's 6'7", all tatted up. This is Bel Air. People driving by don't know what they're seeing right now. I'm helping, I'm helping. Over, over, over. I'm helping. I'm back. We just run up and down. They get tired easily. Oh, God. They're getting good. They're getting good. Something's going to break down. They look a little old. Oh, my boss. Yeah, I know you can get back. Look a little weak in the knees. Look at that. Oh. Good job. Everybody see Grady slip. Creates two to go with the ball, and then we get a layup. They really can't hang with us. Let's progress again today and keep working on things that we can work on to beat who we gotta beat. You know who we gotta beat. Mom Birds won and Word Two. Winner's the best in the country. My emphasis for the week has been your brain is better than their scout. As I watched possessions in the second half, we actually got quality possessions more than we did. If we make shots, we win by 10 in regulation. I'm not asking you to do something you haven't done. You gotta play the game, but guess what? This game that you're playing is what you're gonna be playing the rest of your life. So, might as well get used to it now. Just under practice, last day before we head out. We're gonna head to crowd real quick. I'll catch y'all when we're there. Help us recover before we leave. Yeah, get ready for the day. We're gonna get ready, we coming. Thanks for joining us. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's go do this. Oh, I'm already feeling it. I'm already feeling it. It's not that cold yet. When it gets down to negative 200, you'll be about a minute in. What's your gas station order? Come on, bro. I'm gonna get some gummy bears and some body armor, for real. Are you cold right now? Yeah, I'm cold. It's negative 195. I'm cold. Oh, this is freezing, buddy. How do you feel about your last name? I've embraced it by now. I've heard every joke. It doesn't phase me no more. Did it used to phase you? You know what? As I think about it, imagine the name and likeness in college. <laughs> yeah, that gonna go famous. Who smells the most on the team? Well, Mac and Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Who smells the most on the team? Oh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't smell people. Who's always running late to practice? Oh, Joe. Who's always running late to practice? Joe. Joe. <laughs> Who spits the most game? I'd probably say me. Who spits the most game? Kendall Brown. Who spits the most game on the team? It's either Kendall or you. Who has the best fashion? Probably you. Probably Kennedy. He tried hardest. We're back in Memphis, where Kennedy's from in his hometown. Round three with Montbird, winner take all for the NIBC championship. We know each other forward and backward. It's gonna be a chess match. We have had weeks to prepare for them. They've had a few weeks to prepare for us. And our guys are gonna have to step up and make some plays. That was kinda scary. <laughs> Now we win the cold tub and the hot tub. Gotta get right before the game. Oh, you know? We about to get in the, the cold tub after this. Some of them didn't want to go in the cold tub because they say it was too cold. Oh, it worked! Yeah, I'm used to this now. I used to be swimming in the snow back then. <laughs> Why do you have the hot tub? I'm wearing socks, yes, I'm wearing socks. It's not a weird thing, I just cover my toes. What is you doing? <laughs> I can't have my toes being cold. I don't get it, but, but he said something, it's good, something, he likes it. I guess I get cold. <laughs> We're at McDonald's right now. We've been to a ceremony for uh, me and KB, for us making the McDonald's American. I take 24 people, I think. So for us to make it, it's a dream come true. You know, it's, it's a big accomplishment. And I think we get free McDonald's meal for a whole year. So, you know, 
That's nice. Man, KB gonna get that every day. That's one of the best films. Every kid wants to be a McDonald's All-American. This switch to Sunrise Christian, has that been everything you thought it would be? Ever since I've been at Sunrise, you know, I just been getting better every single day, improving my game. Playing against all the top talent in the nation, going against every good team, every good player. That's gonna get me ready for the next level. <laughs> How does it feel to be back in town playing in a big basketball game? It feels great, you know, coming back in my hometown, playing in front of my city, my family, my friends. It's nice for me to be here, and I'm excited to play. My team is excited to play, but, you know, it's a business trip. We gotta be ready to play tomorrow, and they're gonna be coming at us. We both won against each other, both lost against each other, so, you know, it's a big game. The team is headed to the Civil Rights Museum in my hometown in Memphis, Tennessee. Right now, we at the Civil Rights Museum. We're about to come over here and see what that's like. We can have a great day. They did a lot of stuff for us. It's kind of shocking what they had to go through. I can't imagine what I'll do if I had to go through that. So I just ain't telling about them. It wouldn't be how it is now. To see our history and to see how people were treated, I think everyone should come and see it and get educated on the history. So I'm glad I could be a part of it with the team. It's kind of surreal being here and kind of seeing the history behind it and kind of what black people had to go through. And it's just it's disgusting. I think it's extremely important to just see the history and that everyone needs to be reminded. There's a lot of injustice back then and we're still working our way through that now. Just a very amazing opportunity to learn and, and hopefully open eyes and hearts to see what still can be done. I don't think I would make it back then, but hey, they were strong people, they were fighters. It's, it's a crazy experience. You know, kind of, a lot about history. When we went through what the people went through back then, it's just, it's crazy. It's been a wild ride, the hardest schedule we've ever played. Now you just toss that ball up and see where you're at in 32 minutes. I'm cutting, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Wipe the sucky body language off your face. When you play somebody three times and you play somebody that's as good as them, that scouts really, really well, you have to have some tricks up your sleeve because Mount Bird's gonna know what we're doing. Just like we know what they're doing, so you gotta have a few things that you can go to after timeouts and then some sets to, to hopefully get some easy ones on them because it's gonna be a challenge. Last thing, can you take the ball out? Let's just do this once in case we need it because it got us to overtime last time, right? Because we got Grady's three off the flare and then we got a three for Kennedy. I'll count it. Boom. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bang, good. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Let's finish on that. You never know. We might need that tonight, so I just wanted to touch it uh, one more time. Hey, I'll tell you this. I think we know what, what we got to do. We know what we got to do. I feel really good walking out of here. You guys should feel really good walking out of here. We know the plan, and the plan is good. Now it's just doing it with everything we got. Win or lose tonight, I'm proud of what we've turned into and what we've created as a team and as a group over the last five months, and I can hang my hat on what we've accomplished. So we just, you know, got our little shoot around before our big game tonight. Got some shots up, ran through some plays. We get ready for a big game, aren't we, Fred? Oh, yeah. It's the first play of the game. We didn't panic. They switched one through four. Zach recognizes. We roll up. Come off, we don't panic, we get it in. We set a good ball screen, good angles underneath the man forcing the over. They engage, look what Big Fella does when the ball goes inside. He has to help, we get wide open three. We're watching a film, but we already know this team. This is a great possession. We get paint, we land on two, we kick it. Jaden cuts, doesn't have it, swings it, Kenny cuts, now they're all messed up. And we lay the ball in. I'm telling you, the second half we had them chasing a lot. Corner cut. We're watching them, and they're probably watching us. What we got there? Switch, right? Now get off of it, great, good decision, and now we space. I hope they switch. I'm telling y'all, we were on the rim whenever we wanted. Should be really confident. We know what we gotta do. Kenny, you know that was Kenny. <laughs> It's exciting that we actually get to be here with people watching us. We've been playing for a year now with quiet gyms. Sometimes the crowds are really underrated and you can get some juice and get yourself going even in some hard moments. Look, where are they going to sit? They got three. Oh, he got a whole section down there. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of a homecoming for Kennedy Chandler. You know, he's great, man. He's a great player, obviously, back home. All his people are here, so hopefully he comes out and uh, and it shows out in front of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Big fella, what we gotta do? Make him go left. Keep him away from the rim. Make it tough, make it physical, contest jumpers, and box him out. And box him out, and box him out, and box him out. We have to finish possessions with box outs. You know what's gonna happen. Will there be some stuff we don't know? For sure, for sure. How do you get through that? Your freaking voice. You talk, you talk, you talk, you talk. We've had a mantra for a week. Possessions, right? Fight for possessions. Crash like you've never crashed before. Box like you've never boxed before. Do the little things. If we let adversity fuel us, you can do something that you've never done. If you let adversity bring you down, you have no chance. But if we stay together and we let adversity bring us closer and we fight together and we keep chipping away, you can do exactly what you did the last time, right? Hey, winner take all. We've never been a part of anything like this. Be free, have fun, enjoy this moment, and let's go get this done, right? Back in my hometown, ready to get the win. This is probably the biggest stage I've ever been on. We're hungry, man. Let's go, boy. It's Montverde against us, and winner takes all. From the tip, you ready to battle. From the tip, you ready to battle. From the tip. This is it. Rematch of visit Montverde. Next play, KB, right? Next play. Come back off. Good. Pass. Good. Kennedy, don't fall asleep. Kennedy, Kennedy, don't fall asleep. We got two. Kendall picked up two quick fouls, so you know he was very frustrated. Willie, you take the one. Kennedy. Willie's gonna take the one. We're gonna run side you as a two. Okay. They're making it so hard, bro. Every freaking time. Every time he drives, His ability to just get to the cup, that's why he's going pro. You have a one point lead, and I'll be real with you if we take care of the glass and we take care of the things that we ask you to take care of, it's a seven, eight point lead. Every possession fight, every possession fight. They hit the backboard first. That ball hit the backboard first, right? Should be two points, Sunrise, 26-21. He went up and got double from the goal. You'll have to check the cameras on that one. <laughs> that was a goal 10. I'm sorry. Oh. These refs, we just not getting no calls tonight. Box! Box! Dude, try to throw a bullet through Kennedy and hit him in the stomach. You can't throw the ball after the whistle. <laughs> Kennedy, he hits a circus shot at the buzzer, puts us up by one at the half. We have played horrible, horrible, and we're freaking up one. Whatever you are currently doing is not enough. It's not physical enough, it's not early enough, it's not urgent enough, and we're not going to the ball like men with two hands. We're just kind of batting around. There's been 50-50 balls that we've lost as well, and you're still ahead by one. It's still the same recipe. Defend hard, physically box out, and control the glass. Because in transition, can they guard you? They can't guard you. We have killed them when we get the first miss. Wide open three, dunk in transition, getting fouled. Get the dominoes falling by moving without the ball. Pass, cut, move, flash to the ball, catch, square, find your teammate, extra pass, shot fake, drive it, drop it off. The determining factor for us to win, well we changed the eight more possessions the second half. 
Will we be physical enough to go box out and win basketball? How physical, how nasty, how tough do you wanna be? If you wanna be championship tough, it's gonna to take 16 minutes, all right, let's go. He's legit. Kennedy hooked me up with a pinpoint pass and I finished it with a reverse. Grady comes out with that S on his chest. It really is an offense that's our problem. We didn't get any stops. When we get stops, we are so good in transition, but we're not defending hard enough. And now you dug yourself a hole. Hey, you know what the crazy thing is? We were down 10 at the end of the third quarter last game. This isn't anything we haven't been a part of. Putting your tail between your legs and pouting isn't gonna get it done. What's gonna get it done is us defending hard for eight minutes. They're looking like they're starting to pull away at the end of the third. But we're coming right back. Come on, Kennedy! Gotcha. Yeah. We punch, they counter punch, just going back and forth. Y'all, it's been worse than this. We've been here before. You have three minutes to kind of get yourself through it. This is our game. It's our game. Do you believe it? We're digging back in, we're making our run. Golden opportunities to tie the game. Let's go! The ball goes out of bounds. We call a timeout. Timeout! We get Zach a wide open three in the other corner, sure. and we just can't make the shot to get us over the hump. I don't give a flip if there's two seconds or three seconds. We play the play out, all right? Make the catch difficult. Keep fighting, all right? Let's go. But truthfully, we rebound the ball, we win the game by 10. Good job, man. We just came up a little short again. You ready for this? 48 possessions. 38. They had 10 more possessions than us, and you lose a one possession game. All three games, right down to one possession, correct? What are the things that didn't go our way? For sure, you got hosed. But that doesn't affect this. It doesn't matter. I'm not mad at any official when I look at that. Because truthfully, defensively, you're pretty good most of the night. But when they win by four points, that's what you can stare at. We'll watch us and we'll learn. But at the end of the day, let this sink in. We won't be the last team standing if we don't control the glass. This should sting, it should suck, and it should hurt. Be pissed about this, I'm pissed about this. And then let's fix it and let's go win the national championship. Calls didn't really go our way, obviously, you see with KP in foul trouble, but at the end of the day, it came down to possessions, and if they get 10 more than us, they're obviously going to have a better chance at winning that game, and they did that. We started off good, and they just have fought more than us. Sad I lost at Memphis, where I'm from, but we fought hard, you know, and they just fought hard on us on the glass. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, you can. Take your mask down, Jackson. One, two, three. The whole team, coaches included, are coming out. We're finna see who's the best at bowling. How do you play with no gutters, bro? Let's see something, Jake. 
Grady, you should have did behind the back. <laughs> no. Oh, none of us are good at bowling. It's not, it's not doing, it's not going nowhere. Taller people kind of struggle with bowling because you got to get low and got that, you, get, you know, you got to get that form in, you know? You got to roll the ball, not throw it. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't gotta look because I know I got this right. You know what I'm saying, Hank? Right? The worst bowler was J-Mac. For sure. J-Mac's the worst bowler. I suck so bad. Now the season's winding down. It's nice we could do some fun stuff like this. What I remember from this, this season is like a bunch of extremely talented kids that gave a lot of themselves to accomplish something much bigger than, than themselves. I describe it as the most exhilarating, exciting, challenging, exhausting, demanding year we've ever had. The end isn't what we wanted. Coach Luke, Coach Luke, you're not gonna. But with perspective and some time, like we accomplished some pretty incredible things and I'm super proud of these kids. Later that day we had the senior banquet and that was basically saying goodbye to us seniors. The whole family at Sunrise coming to say thank you for what we've done here. It's just crazy to see that we've come to the end of the season and it's over with and you can't get time back. I'm gonna try to touch on each senior and try to get through it. Number five, Jalen McDaniel. I can't believe the journey that you've had to go on, man. To miss a year and a half of basketball at 15 and a half, 16 years old and to handle it with so much character and resiliency. My man has had two shoulder surgeries and then he gets healthy and then COVID happens and he doesn't get to play at you. Like the amount of adversity that you've had to face in your life is much more than most kids. I was more proud the day that you committed than maybe anybody that I've ever been involved with. I'm so proud of you, man. I'm so glad you're here. All right, love you. My final message, don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do this, you can't do that. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Be different, you know. You shouldn't care what other people think about you as long as you know who you are. That's all that really matters. Jay Nakins, what a unique opportunity to join us when you joined us. Definitely not an easy opportunity to be what you have accomplished before you've gotten here, to head where you're going to head, to not worry about, do I start? Do I play point? Do I do this? It shows who you are. Our group knows we wouldn't be where we're at without you. Your selfless heart and sacrifice has just been amazing. We're happy you're here. The most challenging thing I had to say is just kind of fitting into a new area and environment and new team. But I feel like I did a pretty good job of that. The relationship I built, I could just have them for years to come. Kendall Brown. Kendall is the most selfless, easygoing, humble superstar that there is in high school basketball. Your parents, you should be extremely proud of the kid that you've raised. Kendall has just been coachable, an unbelievable teammate, extremely selfless. We had had some success before, but without Kendall, we wouldn't be in his league. Your game and your, and your talent speaks for itself, but uh, the most amazing thing about Kendall is who he is. Last year, we used to hide you defensively because we needed you on the floor and we didn't want you in foul trouble. This year, you've taken on the role of like, I'm gonna guard the best player, I don't even care. And I can't tell you thank you enough. I just, I appreciate you and I love you, Desmond. man. What I remember the most is just pooping with my brothers and just making memories with them. Uh, I'll just miss just the family aspect of being with everyone. Kenny, number 11. I joke with the team about 100 times about how Kenny's been here longer than I've been here. Kenny came to us a little kid. Kenny's now standing a young man. Kenny has never complained. He's never pouted. He's never asked for more. You want to talk about a selfless kid? Last year, as we're figuring out, we were good last year. We have 10, 11 guys that can play. Kenny comes to us and says, hey man, I think I'm, I'm willing to come off the bench. I think it's gonna be better for our team and it's better for me. It's like, what junior in high school that once offers and once recruitment and once stars comes to you and says that. But that's just a, a testament to who you are. I truly think you can play in the NBA because you can guard five positions. But I really wish you would believe in yourself like I believe in you. I know that these three years haven't been the easiest being away from home and being away from mom. I'm just thankful that you stuck through this and appreciate you, I love you today. It was a good year, great guys on the team, great coaches and love the school, I miss it. If you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, you go together. It's just how our team is, we, we go together. 
All right, last but certainly not least, Mr. Clemens. To coach you for two years and knowing who you are has been an extreme blessing. You exude joy. You walk around and you smile and you light up rooms. I walk in the room, you make me smile. And I can't tell you how many times that that's been needed in two years of a lot of grind and a lot of battle. You want to talk about coachable. I can't tell you how many times I've had to scream at you for things. <laughs> and you look me in the eye and you say, yes, sir. You might not agree, but you handle it with so much class, so much dignity that I can't be thankful enough to have a kid as talented as that that lets me push. I grew up a diehard Kansas fan and I put that away for about eight years. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you in that jersey, man. Not because it's Kansas, but because I know who you are and because of just how much of a joy you've been to coach. Um. No one went up, so I just went up and started winging it, you know? I didn't know what I was going to say because I prepared for that stuff. I've been here for two years. And it really got to me just because like, I've been through a lot with Kendall and Kenny and Willie and a lot of them, so it was, it was hard. I was kind of surprised I got choked up just because it's so hard to believe I'm a senior leaving already. I feel like I just got here. Time flies. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Coach Willis. Like, yeah. And he's been here for me the whole way. And I, I know everyone can say that too because, I mean, he pushes us every day to be the person that we are. Sunrise has done a lot for me. I don't think I've ever worked this much. It's a totally different experience than living at home. I mean, yeah, there's times where we don't like him. <laughs> but, times I don't like him either. Yeah. I mean, I'll only be two hours away, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna miss them a lot. I mean, they might not miss me as much, but I'm gonna miss them a lot. I've been through a lot with them. This is gonna be an unforgettable season. Oh, for you, know, you, know. you know what to do? Uh, Okay, Max Dang. Uh, Super team. Super team. Super team. <laughs>